Okay, you guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today, this will be, I guess, the part two to my porosity video. I have low porosity hair, and in this video, I will show you how I moisturize my low porosity hair and the favorite, my favorite products to use for my hair type. And I actually just discovered these products together um and it works well as you can see this is i had did a wash and go it wasn't like this it was parted pretty and everything but um i did a wash and go about maybe three four days ago and i haven't had to moisturize my hair since so these products that i'm going to show you in this video if you have low porosity hair these will be perfect i'm not sure if it works on high porosity hair i would assume it does but um one of the products is for low porosity hair. And as you can see, I have like so much movement. I did not have to apply like gel. So my hair is not hard. It's very, very soft. I was actually shocked because normally when I do a wash and go, by the morning it's either crunchy and dry um, or just crunchy from the gel. And it's not like the curls are not as defined. Um, I've tried many different ways. Um, I tried putting my hair in little ponytails at night and still in the morning, it just did not work out either. The back, it has like long strands that just aren't curled anymore. It just never comes out right. So with this product, I noticed I did the little ponytails, you know, like my little four ponytails or whatever at night, put a bonnet and the next morning it was still moisturized i didn't have to like spray water on it just to kind of activate it and do like this i actually just like shook my head and it just fell right back into place i was really shocked and then the next night i put my hair in a ponytail didn't put a bonnet on so i just knew my hair was just gonna be jacked up this morning like super jacked up and it was, and I took my ponytail out, my hair was just still soft, still moisturized. So I really want to show you guys these products and exactly how I deal with my low porosity hair. All right, so I am not going to do a full shampoo and conditioner wash. Um, I am actually just going to co-wash my hair. And this is one of my favorite uh, co-washes. But I love this co-wash. It makes it easy to detangle your hair. Um, it smells really good. And it just has a lot of slip to it. And at the same time, it feels like a cleanser and a moisturizer at the same time. So that's really, really good. It's very moisturizing for your hair and very hydrating. So. This is what I'm going to use and I will come back. Okay, I have my hair in sections because that's how I like to um, work. It just makes it easier. But my next step is to apply heat. Um, people with low porosity hair needs to apply, oh, I'm so loud, um, needs to apply heat on their hair and that opens their cuticle because if you have low porosity hair, then your cuticle is tight so you want to apply some heat to open up the cuticles so that the moisture can get in i have bought this thing on amazon it's just a little hood thing and it warms up it doesn't get really hot like a, um it's not like a hooded dryer or anything it's just warm so if you want a deep condition or whatever it came with this little shower cap um, or it'll work good for low porosity hair to open up your cuticles. So now I'm going to put this on. And I purchased that on Amazon for like $15. It was real cheap. Um, I do have a steamer. You can use this, a steamer, or you can use a hooded dryer. You just don't want to put it on high, maybe um, low just to warm up your hair. Um, but like I said, you can use this or a steamer. 
I do have a Q redo, but it's not working right now. So then I bought this because I didn't really want to pay another $60, $70 for the Q redo steamer, but I'm probably going to get it eventually because it's easier with the steamer, the handheld steamer to just work in sections and steam that section, then put the products in, then to put leave this on for a little bit to warm up and then put the products in. But this will do. But this is really good if you want deep condition and stuff because it's so small. That's the little power pack. And you can sit on your bed and um, condition your hair wherever you want to sit and take it with you. So this is a good traveling thing. So while I have this on, I might just do my makeup a little bit. I don't know. Or watch TV. And I will come back. I usually leave this on for about 15-20 minutes. So then I will come back and show you how to put the products in your hair. Okay, I am done. Oh, kind of sweaty. Ooh. All right, so the products that I'll be using is my Shea Moisture Low Porosity Protein Free Leave-In Detangler. Um, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it's strong. After that, I will be using the Camille Rose, and I don't know if it's like Camille Lee or Camille. I think it's Camille, that's what I always say. Rose Naturals, and it's Curl Love Moisture Milk. Okay. And then it's the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker. Um, I guess this is like a curling jelly that eliminates frizz moisture and defined curls. I'm sorry, moisturize and define curls the natural way. So this is what I like. I really, really like this. Now these smells are a little different. Um, I'm not sure what they smell like. It's a little different smell for me. And sometimes like this and that mix don't smell all that great, but it doesn't last. Like. It doesn't stay kind of stinky that long. <laughs> this um, uh, Curl Love Moisture Milk, that doesn't smell bad at all. Like, to me it smells like cupcakes. So, that's what I'll be using. So let's get started. This section, and I work in smaller sections than this. So I'm going to take a small section. I'm going to apply this. Now I do not like use my dimming brush. I don't detangle. I literally just finger detangle. And I'm really not doing that. I'm just kind of distributing the products. So we'll start with this. And you really don't need a lot. I think I'm just heavy handed. But Very pretty. Feels moisturizing. All right, feels moisturized. Okay. Then I'm going to go with the curl milk. And I always focus on the ends because I have that dye. Pretty. Yeah, these curls though. Yes, hunty. These curls are like the best. Okay. Let me get back to the camera again. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now we are going to go with the curl maker.
This is what smell kind of funny to me. But I don't care because this stuff be giving my hair life. I can take it. Ooh, all right. Take another section. Okay, so this also has a twisting butter. I'm not using that today, but just in case you want to do like a twist out or braid out, this is what you can use. Okay. All right, I am all done. It is still very much wet. It will probably take the most most of the day for my hair to dry, so I'll try to come back. You can see how good these products are. So this side I just got done with. That's why it's not shrinking yet. So it's kind of weighed down. But once it starts drying a little bit, they'll match this side. But, I mean, this is, mm, really pretty. Guys, it is midnight, I believe, and my hair is dry, finally, all the way dry. Size movement, still very defined. I won't let you die.